Welcome to my channel The Kitchen and Lifestyle with a new video. Today I will be making a vegetarian burger. It's so simple and delicious. We will need two tablespoons of chia seeds in one bowl, then one cup of walnuts in the other bowl. Then we will add hot boiling water to chia seeds and the walnuts. We're gonna set them aside for about 15 to 20 minutes. We want our burger to be full of flavors. So here I'm adding half red sweet pepper. I'm gonna remove the seeds, then cut it into pieces. I will be adding all my veggies into my chopper. We want a rough texture, not too smooth, not too rough, in the middle. Here I'm using one onion, small onion, or you can use half big onion. We're gonna also cut it into pieces. Here is my blender. I'm gonna start with walnuts first, then add in the sweet peppers and the onions here i have three glove of garlic and some fresh cilantro we're gonna give it a blend for like one minute then we're gonna be adding our other ingredients I'm cleaning the sides because we don't want any big chunks in our burgers. So here I'm adding two cups of mushrooms. I'm using white mushrooms, two cups of black beans. Then we're gonna add our spices, which is salt, black pepper, and a lot of cumin. Here. I added my uh, chia seeds. This is gonna put all these ingredients together. We don't have any fat, so the chia seeds will be the fat for this burger, vegetarian burger. I'm gonna go ahead and keep chopping my ingredients and scraping the sides till I have this nice, beautiful mixture. The ingredients I use today will make about 5 to 6 burgers for adults, for kids about 10 mini burgers. You can also shape them as a nuggets for your kids and add in some breadcrumbs from the outside that will give it that crunchiness of the nuggets. To shape my burgers, I'm using this bowl. This way I will have the same sizes for each one. I'm gonna go ahead and freeze some of my burgers and just leave the ones we will be eating tonight. And this is the way I freeze my burgers. I'm cutting some parchment paper to place my burgers on the top of it. Then I will place it in the freezer for about two hours, then put them inside the Ziploc. Here I'm using some plastic to help me shape my burgers. Use a spoon and push it down so we don't have any empty spaces. 
Then put the parchment paper on the top of your burger and flip the ball, like so. Here we go. We're gonna put it aside and move to the next one. Here is my burgers ready to be in the freezer. I will keep one for my dinner tonight and they have four left that I will be freezing. They have this beautiful brownish color. They look just like meat burgers and the taste is amazing. We're gonna put some ghee or butter and let it cook for about seven to 10 minutes in a medium heat then gently we're gonna start moving it from the sides and flipping it the problem with veggie burgers there is no tissues of meat there is no fat so we have to be very careful when flipping our burgers I'm adding some more ghee in the top You can use non-stick skillets, but for health reasons, I like to use my iron skillet. Here I'm adding some American cheese and my burger is ready. Here is my burger, it's ready. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Please leave me a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new to my channel. See you soon.